you know, with all the wonderful things that are cropping up in uh, our gardens during spring, one of the things that's not so wonderful is slugs, and they cause a lot of damage, especially to, to new plants that are coming out of the ground. Now here we have a tulip leaf that we wanted to show you, and one of the, the real signs of slug damage is it's often on the plants that have wider leaves because slugs actually have to set on a place and they kind of have a, a rasping effect. So they chew through the surface of the leaves. So anytime you see a, a hole in a leaf, pretty good chances that it's slugs. And don't forget too that it's often the tiny, mm -hmm. tiny ones. It's not the big, huge ones that do the damage, it's the babies. So you wanna get in early and get those slugs before they start going rampant in your garden. And you know, there's so many different products at your independent garden center, so go out there and check them out. But we wanted to tell you about all the different kinds. So these products down here all have an um, ingredient called Meta. And it is a um, chemical ingredient, but it does kill them really efficiently. And there's some that are liquid and then also in a meal form or a granular form. And if you do have kids and pets that play in your yard, you want it to go to something that's a little bit more safe. And these products like Sluggo have iron phosphate in them, and that's a natural occurring element. Um, there's also some from Espoma and Bonide. And Bonide also has a product that has spinosad in it, and so it gets some other insects that are in the garden too. So just don't forget to read the label and see what insects they're going after. One of the nat most natural ways is just using beer, and all you do is you take the, like the lid of a mayonnaise jar or a tiny, very shallow bowl, and you just pour it in there. You do want to make sure that you change that about every day, though, because once it goes flat, it doesn't serve the purpose that it's intended for. Uh, copper tape is another great product. Copper tape will kind of cause them to feel an electrical shock. So if you put it around uh, vegetable gardens, stuff mm -hmm. like that, it'll keep them from going in. However, make sure you don't have any in there because then it just makes it a prison and they're going to thrive <laughs> in there. Of course, the last thing you can always do besides, well, there is also soapy water. You mm -hmm. can pick them up, put them into that, yeah. and that'll kill them. Uh, pruners, go out and just cut them in half. <laughs> and then of course salt, but if you use something like salt, you wanna make sure that they're really dead because they can rehydrate from the salt, where some of these other products would keep that from happening. Well, you know, all of these products are really something that you have to make sure that you use and keep on applying because sometimes it rains so hard that it loses its effectiveness. The main thing is to get out in the garden and make sure you put out those slug baits so you don't have damage to your plants.